Baruchim Habayim Ladik Duk Dakot. This video is about the PL imperfect. As you recall, a PL, generally speaking, uh, reflects active voice and intensive action. Uh, here's an example, Yidaber, uh, which translated would be, he will speak, uh, Deber, uh, perhaps because speaking is an intensive activity. You can see here what the visual signs are. Uh, you get the shva under the prefix, and you get the dimeral, the dagish in the middle root letter. The vocal pattern is e a a. In the vav consecutive, you still see the shva under the prefix, and you still see the dimeral, the dagish in the middle root letter. Here are a couple of examples that you're already familiar with of pl imperfects. Uh, Yechase is in, you, you can see here the shva under the prefix and you can see the, the dimeral. The form that we have encountered it in Jonah, however, is the vav consecutive in which the form has shortened because it's the vav consecutive. And because it's the last letter, you don't get to see the dagish. So you remember vaihas sak. Another familiar one for you is from numbers, yivarech. Uh, and again, you see the shva under the prefix. And here, because the middle root letter is a guttural that can't have a dagish, you get compensatory lengthening of the previous vowel. And instead of the patach, you now see uh, kametz. Here's the whole paradigm for the PL imperfect. And as you can see, every single prefix has a shva underneath. So when you see a shva under a prefix, think PL. Uh, an obvious and common exception is uh, vayihi, uh, in which there's a shva, but it's not a PL. But almost always, other than that, when you see uh, the shva under the prefix, you probably have an imperfect PL. Uh, also, notice the dimeral, the dagish in the middle root letter. That is how you identify the PL imperfect. Lach le shalom.